Hello, my name is Jay Haskamp and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today's session we will discuss troubleshooting Windows Mobile USB connection issues with your PC. First, we will take a look at whether or not we have the proper software. There are two pieces of software that connect our devices to our computer and they will be different depending upon the operating system that you have. The first software is Microsoft ActiveSync and the second software is Windows Mobile Device Center. Next we will take a look at advanced network functionality. This is a setting within Windows Mobile and we will look at the differences of how the device connects to our computer when we have the checkbox checked or when we have the checkbox unchecked. Lastly we will go through some additional troubleshooting tips. Always consult your IT personnel before making any changes to your computer's configuration. First let's look at ActiveSync versus Windows Mobile Device Center. Do you have the proper connection software installed? As you can see, if you have Windows XP, you need to use Microsoft ActiveSync to connect your device to your computer. If you are using Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8, you need to install Windows Mobile Device Center to make the connection to your PC. Also, do you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit computer? the proper version of Windows Mobile Device Center will need to be installed based on the type of PC that you have. Lastly, depending upon your configuration, additional steps may be required. See the related blog post on www.fpisurvey.com for additional details. Next we need to look at advanced network functionality. This is a simple setting on your device that we will show you how to change in just a minute. If you have advanced network functionality enabled, which it is by default, the device connects to your computer using an IP address. Your device is treated as a remote network device under your computer's network adapters as shown in the image. This is not always accepted in organizations that have stricter rules on connecting devices to computers or laptops. However, this is the ideal connection to use as it works best for transferring larger files. Your mobile device can also connect to your PC with the advanced network functionality disabled. This may need to be disabled in order to connect in some instances. The device connects to your PC as a portable USB device as you can see in the image. This may be more acceptable in organizations that have stricter rules for connecting devices to computers and laptops. However, this connection can have potential issues with transferring larger files. Let's take a look at how we can change the setting in our device. First, on your device, open up the Windows Start menu and locate the Settings icon. In Settings, choose Connections and choose USB to PC. Changing the type of connection your device uses can help with problems connecting to ActiveSync. Based on your desired settings, either check the Network Functionality box and hit OK or uncheck the box and hit OK to save the changes. Once that is done, you should be on your way to connect your device to your PC and transfer files. If you still have some issues, here are some additional troubleshooting tips that you can look at. Verify that the unit is powered on. Try connecting the unit to a different USB port on the same PC. Do not use a multi-port USB hub. Make sure the device is connected directly to the PC's USB port. You can also try resetting your handheld, restarting your computer, if you have a different USB download cable, give that a try. Try connecting the device to another PC. Also, remove any existing Mobile Device Center partnerships. Make sure you have all the latest Windows updates. Also make sure your antivirus software is not blocking the wmdc.exe file or the wmdcbase.exe file. Lastly, Try uninstalling any mobile device emulators you may have installed, such as Pocket Controller or My Mobiler. This concludes our tech talk on troubleshooting Windows Mobile Device Center and Microsoft ActiveSync USB connections to Trimble devices. Hopefully you found this beneficial, and will join us again next time. Thank you.